So I thought I'd do a video on the rip. I've been getting a few questions via Instagram on uh, best way to navigate the rip. I didn't realise it's a 2.8 kilometre walk. Son of a bitch. At uh, Port Lonsdale, it's about uh, 30 knot winds today. So I've just come down here at slack tide. I've done some drone filming, and now you can see that we're getting a flood tide coming running in. Now the tide is actually very, very, very strong. So now is not the time to be navigating the rip. As we speak, the tide's starting to come in, so I might just get off this rock ledge. Mate, I don't know if you can see that. Unfortunately, it's the wrong time to be going through the rip today. I think we missed the tide by about an hour. So it's just not worth the risk to go out today because it's going to have like two to three metre swells. So the weather reports this morning was um, seas between 0.5 and a metre out in Bass Strait. And then moving up to about a metre and the swell was getting up to about two to three metres. And inside the bay was about a metre, below a metre. Unfortunately, we just picked the wrong time to go through the rip. So there's a couple of things that we're looking for when we're navigating the rip. One, obviously being the weather, and second, being slack tide. So what you want to do is type in Bass Strait Weather Forecast. Bass Strait and Approaches. And we want to go to Central Coast, because that's where we're going to be leaving from. We're going to click on that, and we're going to check the weather. What's Tuesday saying? When I'm looking at the weather, I don't want anything with the seas above a metre, metre and a half. Uh, three metres is not really ideal for heading offshore. You want them to be around one to two metres, but just for this argument's sake, so we're going out on the 24th of March. So next thing I want to do is find out Tuesday the 24th, and now we want to go the same site, we want to go check for slack tide. The rip tide times, there we go. So we want the BOM Victorian Tide Tables there. Download the rip. I'll just find, uh, what do we say the date was? The 24th of March. Okay, so it's saying that slack tide is 4.16. No one's getting up that early. Uh, and then the second one is at 10.40 and then nine past four so they're the perfect times to actually go through the rip to go out to Bass Strait it was slack tide I don't recommend going outside of those times unless you've got vast experience So as you can see here, it's slack tide. And you can see the reef just to the left of us around there because it's really shallow at the moment. So that's what the rough looking water is there at the moment. So what you want to do to navigate through the rip itself, uh, Navionics, Navionics. All right, so your normal 
GPS on your boat, you'll have a Lawrence or a Garmin. It'll be set up something similar to this. This is Navionics. You can you can either download this on your um, as an app, or you can look it up online. It's got all the fishing charts you need. So what we like to do is we normally leave from Sorrento, which is where are we? Sorrento Pier. There we are. There. So we normally head out. That's where the ferry takes you across from Sorrento to Queenscliff. So we head out to the South Channel, then we'll head all the way out here, obviously during slack tide, and then we'll head out to the center of the shipping channel, and just to the right of that is going to be your trajectory out through the rip, just like that. And when the water's coming in, the greatest current is actually towards Point Nepean, so and you don't want to be in the actual shipping channel as well. So if you go just to the right of that and head out, that's the actual safest spot to go out. Now, on Queenscliff side, there's actually a black lighthouse, which is called the Highlight Tower, which is just there like that. And in front of that, you've got four other towers. Five, actually five, I think. And you've got the Fort West Beacon, and you've got the Murray Tower, you've got the Low Light Tower, and you've got the Hume Tower. So basically what you want to do, if you can see them, is line up the Highlight Tower with the Hume Tower and Fort West Beacon. So in between those two will be the Fisherman's Channel and the Four Fingers West. That's where you want to be. That is the safest trajectory outside of Port Phillip Bay Heads. Obviously navigating in the rip in the wrong conditions can be catastrophic, so please remain safe. And always wear a life jacket. In fact, it's law. Well, that's it for me. If I've missed something, um, something that might help somebody else, then please, please leave that in the comments below. Uh, this is what we've found over the few years that we've been navigating the rip it works best for us it may not work for you so please please be cautious when going through the rip make sure you go out at slack tide i'll leave all the tide times in the description below and also there's a great article which i'll leave in the description below as well now you can do more advanced rip tours i think they're from queenscliff i'll leave that in the description below as well it's dinner. If you're not, if you're not subscribed to our channel, you might want to consider hitting that subscribe button, and also on Instagram and Facebook. Well, that's it for me. I'll see you in the next video.